Right now at 5, you've heard of virtual reality. Well, now a computer giant is betting on mixed reality. It's technology that could soon let you play with holographic images in your home. And there's more. CBS 2's Brooke Silver Braga gave it a try. So the things come right out of the wall. The robots invading this room okay. aren't actually there, unless you're wearing a Microsoft HoloLens, as I did recently. Microsoft calls it mixed reality. The headset maps its environment and lets you add 3D images. So this is the difference between virtual reality and mixed reality. Yeah, in virtual reality, you're essentially uh, cut off from the real world. With HoloLens, which is an example of mixed reality technology, you can see the real world, and we are mixing digital assets, holograms in this case, on top of the real world. Ben Reed, the director of HoloLens, filled a hotel room for us with examples of the technology promise. You can turn any, uh, any wall in your house into a big screen TV. But you can't buy HoloLens. For the next couple years, the $3,000 headset is only available to software developers. Microsoft hopes they'll help retailers map out their stores, engineers design vehicles, and medical students learn anatomy. Drag my finger and actually extend the size of the swatch. Similar tech is also driving Google's Tango. It's available on Lenovo's Fab2 Pro phone this September. The company recently showed how it can help you redesign a room with the touch of a finger. Welcome to the future of home design. It's a glimpse of a virtual future that's becoming increasingly real. Oh, it's so weird when you take them off. Where did it all go? <laughs> yeah, right. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, New York. Now, Microsoft reportedly expects to sell 80 million mixed reality devices by 2020. Just thinking how I can live large like all those homes that we see That's all right. the time with this thing. Yeah, at one like point. I can just create my own little. <laughs> That's right. Then you take it off and you're space. back to reality. And it's like, it's all fake. <laughs> I'll be happy for a little while. A little while. <laughs> New information.